Pink. What's up, guys? All right. Uh, been in the sport for 39 years. Raced it. You know, been so passionate about it. I've put more into it than most people. And something came to me the other day that I never really thought about, you know? And it's about arm pump, you know, right? So we know what causes arm pump. Maybe uh, faulty technique, uh, ill handling motorcycle, maybe um, you know lifting too many weights, maybe riding over your head a little bit, all these things. And we've had all these ways of trying to fix it by let's take this pill, let's put this spray, let's wrap our arms, let's put this device on it with a screw in it. Uh, you know, let's get surgery, let's cut our let's cut our body open. But you still get it, and it's still not really ca uh, fixing the the issue because if you always had to keep doing that, well, then the, the problem isn't fixed. You're just putting a Band-Aid on it and all Band-Aids fall off. So my thought pop process is <clears throat> where does this come from? There's an ingredient to everything. There's a first step to everything. And I feel it's right here. And what is that? The You reacting instead of having initiation. So reactions from the past. So if I'm reacting to the bike, and even though it might be so slight, might be so fine, fine, you know, you know, fine tuned, whatever, that you don't even really see it when you're watching somebody. But when you're riding, you feel it. There's so many times that I've come off the track and just been like, damn, dude, why couldn't you just relax? You know, all the preparation was right. The bike was set up right. You wanted to win. You had the this, you had that, but you just rode so tight because I was riding from reaction. Reaction of maybe the fear of failure, the what if, the what could, the what might. And if that's happening, my body is going to be just a little bit behind what's happening right now because the physical form's on the bike, but the mental form is somewhere else off the bike. So you're always going to be behind <clears throat> what's happening. You're always going to be kind of almost in a hope because things are happening fast, but your focus is somewhere else. Now, those days that I just came off the track and everybody's had these days and races, they're just like, whoa, <laughs> how do I do this again? Right. <clears throat> that was from initiation. Initiations from the future, meaning I'm putting my body where I want it to be. I'm my body's in a flow. It's in you know, a, a movement pattern. So if the bike does does something I'm not expected for, my body's already moving with it. My body's already transitioning with it. My body's already initiating, initiating the next section, movement, whatever it is. So then the bike catch up, catches up. But if I'm in reaction, <clears throat> the bike is going to move just a subtle bit before my body catches up to it or pushes away from it. So that's what I've kind of come to that everything has a first ingredient and you can't just say, oh, I got arm pump and it's that, or I fix it this way. But where's it starting from? <clears throat> and I feel it's starting from here, from being in that box of what if, what could, fear of failure, and that's going to cause you to just be just a little bit behind the bike and that's going to be causing you to react to it. And anytime that you react to something, you're probably going to stiff up a little bit, tighten up a little bit. But anytime that you're very confident, uh, you trust, there's not a bunch of expectation that I have to be this, got to do this, uh, this can't happen. <clears throat> you know, you're going to be in initiation. Initiation is always moving before, right? You're always moving before something. You're always, uh, you know, focusing on before the next thing happens, so to speak, because that that's the that's kind of the future. So think about this. Go back to some of your races, some of the times you ride, and see. Because if you had arm pump all the time, like I said, you would be able to maybe pinpoint what it is. But not everybody has arm pump all the time. It's just certain situations, certain conditions, certain uh, races. And so what is the difference? The bike different? No. Your training different? No. There's not much different except what this is doing because this is controlling the body. So if this is locked up, this is locked up, and then these things get locked up, and then you're just, uh, you know, in a world of hurt. So look at that a little bit and see if that makes sense. Because again, I've gotten arm pump many times in my life, and I've tried to, oh, it's this, it's that, maybe it's that. Well, yeah, but I never really focused on where my mindset was. 
was I reacting to everything just subtly, even though that maybe I was top three or was everything more of an initiation, more of a feel because I wasn't focused on what I thought it should be and what I thought it shouldn't be, right? <clears throat> it just is. So maybe that helps. And again, uh, after 39 years, I've found something different. You never stop learning, I guess, right? So if I never stop learning, then I guess you guys will never stop learning because I'm going to never stop sharing. So peace.